Good morning to you all. Welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. Happy New Week to you all. Hallelujah. Welcome to another edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Today is Monday, 26th of September 2022, and today's topic is It Will Happen in a Flash. Praise the Lord. So, before we start this beautiful morning, let's pray together. Father, we thank you, we honor you, we appreciate you for who you are. We thank you for your faithfulness, we thank you for your mercy, we thank you for your love, we thank you, Father, for all that you have done in our lives. Thank you for waking us up healthy and strong. Thank you for the gift of life, we are not taking it for granted. We gather this morning to study your word because your word is all we need for a perfect day. As we meditate on your word this morning, we thank you for understanding of your word. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. And today's topic is it to happen in a flash. Praise the Lord. Titus 2 verse 14 says, Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That's Titus 2 verse 14. It is easy for some to be carried away by the activities of this world and just go on like the world will always be the way it is been. When we talk about the rapture of the church, there are still those who think it is a rose. That is because they haven't read their Bibles. The Bible does tell us about the rapture. Read 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 15 to 17. And 1 Corinthians 15, verse 51 to 53 says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last triumph. For the trumpet shall sound, and the day shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Praise the Lord. Notice that this will happen in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. That means in a split second we will be out of this world. The rapture isn't going to be a long process. Praise the Lord. It is not like the second coming in which the Lord will be in the air for long enough for all the nations to see him. No, the rapture of the church will be in an instant, in a flesh, and it will all done. We are all gone, but it is for those who are waiting for him, who are expecting him. Praise the Lord. Hebrew 9.28 says, And unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time with a sea unto salvation. Do you love his appearing? Are you looking forward to his return? Why many of us are saying, Even so come, Lord Jesus, some are hoping his coming will be delayed because of their carnality. Don't get stuck in that rut. Some of the very last words of the Master in the entire Bible is, Surely I come quickly, Revelation 22, verse 20. There will be no delay, so if you haven't been living right like one who is expecting him, repent because there isn't much time left. Take your fellowship with God very seriously. Be like the wise servants the Bible talks about who are waiting for and expecting their master. Luke 12, verse 6 to 8. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What a way to start our day, our week, praise the Lord. It will happen in a flash. So get yourself ready. The coming of the Lord Jesus Christ is soon. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. And we should be hoping for that. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Because they will get peace, joy, love, and happiness, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What pastor is helping us to understand today is that we should get ourselves ready. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you have not given your life to Christ, this is an opportunity for you to do so. Hallelujah. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am my child of God. Hallelujah. If you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations to you. 
You are now a child of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All you have to do now is study your Bible. Get to know who God is, who Jesus is, and who the Holy Spirit is to you. And there is a lot of inheritance for you in the Bible. Praise the Lord. And also bombard yourself with faithful messages such like this. Hallelujah. And visit your the nearest closest church close to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What a wonderful way. Yes, be prepared. Hallelujah. There is nothing in this world. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. While you are enjoying the fruit of this world, also prepare yourself for the Lord coming. Hallelujah. So that is what Pastor is helping us to understand this morning. So with that being said, let's take a confession together. I'm awake and alert in the spirit, guided by God's love, by his word and by my expectation of his coming. My desire to win more people to Christ is flourishing like never before. And through my evangelical efforts, many are snatched out of the kingdom of darkness into the glorious liberty of the sons of God. Hallelujah. For that study, you can look at April 9, verse 28, 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 15 to 17. When your Bible reading plan, Ephesians 3, verse 1 to 21, and Isaiah 9 to 22. To your Bible reading plan, 2 Timothy 2, verse 1 to 10, and Jeremiah 44. So at your leisure time, you can go through the scriptures, and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. What a wonderful um, word we have uh, had this morning. Hallelujah. Praise to Lord. Don't be too busy for the word of God. Hallelujah. So have you subscribed to my channel? If you've not done so, there's an opportunity for you to do so. So that every time I upload a video, you'll be first to notified. I'll give five seconds for you to do so. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. God bless you. So before we go this morning, let's pray together. Father, we thank you, we honor you. We thank you for reminding us of what is important. And Father, yes, we are indeed expectant of your coming. Thank you, Father, for helping us ready. And thank you for your mercy that prevailed over judgment in our lives. Thank you, Father, for this week you have foreshadowed sin to all things are indeed working together for our good because we love you. Thank you for our daily bread today. Thank you for your protection. Every day we everything we put our hands to do is a success. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for in Jesus' mighty name we we'll pray. Amen. Thank you so much. You have a fabulous day. I'll see you same time tomorrow. By the grace of God, God bless you. Bye.